happy Sunday. So the other day I went to the grocery store and I'm like, oh my gosh, I seen that they had some snapper. One, snapper's like my favorite fish, if I'm gonna eat fish. I don't really like fish, but if I am gonna eat fish, it's gonna be snapper. So I'm like, oh my gosh, let me buy some. They literally had three and I took all three and I've been meaning to cook it since. However, I threw out two pots that I had and I and um, I have this other one left. I need to buy two more too, but not right now. But um, I had this other pot and I'm, you know, one evening I came home and I wanted to make the fish. I had taken it down and put it in the bottom of the fridge, but um, the pot had um, meat in the fridge. So I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll just leave it for Another day. I think this was last week Sunday when I wanted to make it. I'm like, I'll leave it for another day. Because I have to make it too when I'm in the mood. Because that's the only way it's going to be slamming. So I'm like, fine. Last night I'm at work and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make the fish today. I feel like today's a good day for some steamed fish. I really wanted to use some okra as well. But the ones that I bought, they went bad because it's been two weeks or so. And when I tell you... The fish looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. But I can't eat it right now because I have this thing where as soon as I'm done cooking, I can't eat right away. Sometimes, right now is one of those moments. But also, I'm literally so exhausted because I made such elaborate plans for today. I wanted to um, do some laundry and then um, so I started arranging everything to do the laundry and then um, but I wanted to cook first so I'm like all right so I decided that I'm coming straight home and I'm gonna like put on the peas because I wanted to make some rice and peas and like get that done from early because the peas are really supposed to soak it from overnight so it's like already soft in the morning but I t it's when I was already at work that I thought I'm gonna make it so I'm like, whatever, I'm going to just have to go home in the morning and start cooking it straight away. So I've been struggling to keep myself up because I do not want to mess up this fish. So it's finally done. I just checked on it and I'm giving it like another 10 minutes on a really low heat. Because you know, fish um, steams easily. So it's done and the rice and peas is done and I'm so damn excited. It's 11 o'clock. We're making good time. I start exactly as I came home. And um, so right now... I think I'm going to go sleep because I'm so exhausted. I have to sleep for a little bit. And then we're going to wake up and try this fish. And I'm very excited. Mm. Not me being excited about fish all over again because fish and I don't really have the best relationships. <laughs> and, oh my God, when I was in the kitchen scaling it because I thought that it was already scaled. Only to find out that it's not. Because even though you buy it scaled, like when you're um, rinsing it and stuff like that, you still want to go over it with a knife um, in your sink. So I'm going over it and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's too many scales for it to have already been scaled. Only to realize that the sink looked like a fish market because it was not scaled. I was so dissatisfied, but I'm like, I already have it out and I'm going to make it today. I already decided. I'm already committed. So I was in there scaling it and struggling one of them still had the insides. I was so mad. I haven't had to do that in such a long time. So I'm like, oh my gosh, whatever. But I'm determined to make the fish today. So even though I was so annoyed and it was all so raw and such an annoying process, I'm like, I don't really care. All I'm thinking about in the back of my head, I'm in my head motivating myself to do it's okay. This fish is going to be good when you make it. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that when we eat it, it's to our liking because I'm going to be really disappointed. But I already tasted like the little sauce that was like made. Oh, I can't talk about it no more. Anyways, I'm about to go to sleep. And uh, then I'm going to wake up and eat that fish. And hopefully I'm going to be very satisfied because if I'm not satisfied, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself because that was the only thing that I cooked. Oh my gosh, I just, now that I'm seeing it, I'm realizing that I didn't do the laundry yet. What am I going to do? I'll figure it out. I don't really know yet. I have quite a few things that I want to get done in the kitchen today. I want to clean off the stove. I already put the burners in the sink 
to soak from overnight. So I want to clean the stove off. But first, I'm going to eat a fish. Bunch of bars and peas. Sunday, Monday, baby. Hi, y'all. Today is Tuesday. I'm doing a bit of laundry. But also, um, I washed my hair this morning at 1 a.m. Because I was just laying down and I'm like, no, I need to take these braids out. Especially now that the weather is getting really, really nice. When the weather when the weather is nice, I like to have my hair out. So I wash my hair and I have it in the little braided ponytail that I do from time to time. And um, yeah, today I need to wait, make my way to the Walgreens because there's a prescription sent by my doctor that the little Indian people at the Walgreens, when you call them and like, they're not understanding what you're saying, it's like they're like, oh, now our, you know, instead of saying, I'm not sure what you're saying or I don't understand. Can you say it again or can you tell me a different way? Which is so freaking annoying so she told me my prescription wasn't there i had to go to the doctor without it and my doctor is like no it's there so i'm gonna send it again and this time go out there in person so i have to walk out there in person and i have to pick up something else as well so i have to go to the store my daughter needs a new pair of shoes and she needs kickers did she say she needed that or we just found out my sister found out this morning she says she said she needs Air Force Ones. So, um, we're gonna see. And, um, yeah, we're gonna see how that, how that basically goes. But yeah, I'm doing some laundry and stuff. I'm trying to just get things clean and organized around here. I spent this entire, basically, weekend cleaning up the apartment, cleaning off the stove, cleaning off the counters, this, that, whatever. Just cleaning, 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 cleaning. Call it nesting, if you will. Cleaning. Okay, so now I'm doing a little bit of laundry and... But um, I want to pop out on the block. It's kind of cool outside though. Today is not really a hot day. It's like more of, see, let's see what the temperature is. I'm going to check online to see if I can find the shoes for my daughter. And then um, check for the shoes. Maybe I could check Adidas. She said she wanted Air Force One. Is Air Force One Adidas or Nike? I think it's Nike. Oh, okay. That's what we're doing. I'm going to go, but I'll come back. Are we going to focus? I'm still trying to figure out how to properly work this machine so we're trying to do that right now i'm on my last load no 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 the last piece of like that load that i'm actually doing i think i have one more load to go and then i have some clothes for myself i don't know if i'm gonna wash those today maybe later on in the week but also it's 9 58 a.m i want to go to the pharmacy i want to go to walgreens and i want to hit up the grocery store because i have to pick up my prescription from the pharmacy but I, from walgreens <laughs> the pharmacy is walgreens i want to go to walgreens I want to go to the grocery store and I want to go to Marshall's because they're all in the same vicinity. So we're going to do that. I ate something so I'm full. I'm going to put my Apple Watch on so I can track my load of steps. I'm wearing this top. I'm going to put some perfume on. Oh. It appears that it's going to spin for the next six or five minutes and then it's going to be done. Fine. I'm leaving anyways. Yeah, that appears to be what's what's gonna be happening. Yeah, I'm leaving anyways. But yeah, I'll come back later. I just got back from the Walgreens and I'm so annoyed because the prescription that the lady told me last week was not there, was indeed there. She just, I don't know, it's like she didn't look or whatever, they don't carry it. Now I have to call my doctor for her to send it somewhere else that actually carries it. And then, um, on top of that, I went to Marshall's and spent $108. The line in Marshall's was pissing me off because it's only three people working in the register and the line is wrapped around. Like, be for real. Pull some people off of the floor, get this line down, and then put them back on the floor. It's in my head, it's also simple. I don't know how people do not think logically. So, there was like a manager, whatever she was, standing back there. And I'm just looking at the line, looking at the registers, so annoyed and then she said oh like she said somebody should call open up like another one of the registers register 10 or whatever the case is so then i did that and i popped by the grocery store because i wanted to buy some fruits and i definitely wanted to get some water because their the water inside here is done so so um did that so i did all of the things that i wanted to get done so out of breath because i just the man and i just brought the things up here <sighs> but yeah I'm annoyed. Or I was. I'm fine, but like, you know, 